Hello and welcome to Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy TV. And as always, it's a Tuesday evening and I've got Bob Cook with me who is going to do yet another book review. Um, so welcome, Bob. How are you? Welcome, Rory. I'm fine. I'm sitting in my lovely warm room in Disbury and uh, I'm going to do another book review, the sixth. So I'm very pleased. Yes, it's the sixth book review. And those of you watching might notice that Bob's in glorious high definition video he's bought himself a new <laughs> webcam haven't he bob hi i've just had some uh, trials and tribulations about uh, installing him but now it's up and uh, you've told me i look very sharp so i'm very pleased you do bob so uh, which book are you going to review tonight what what book is it that you're going to share with us well this is one of my favorite actually going back uh, a couple of decades now uh, written by ian stewart uh, the same person who wrote TA Today, which I've reviewed earlier. And it's a book he wrote in 1992, published in 1992. And it's simply called Burn, B-E-R-N-E. -E. And he's talking about the originator of transaction analysis, as we know. And what I like particularly about this book is that it's um, not that just, just paperback, so it's fairly short, so it's accessible to read. Um, but he talks about the evolution of TA up to 1992. And he talks about the different schools and approaches of TA which have developed into 1992. So we're not talking about the relational school, which came in 2008, but we're talking about the approaches up to 1992. And he goes into, in some depth, the different branches of transaction analysis which evolved from the classical TA of Bern that we know uh, 1960 onwards. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Because a lot of a lot of people watching may believe that you know, like a lot of therapies, there's only one version of it, and mm. there's one template. But I know through our time speaking together, there's lots of <laughs> different versions. I'm not a TA therapist, but I know of one off the top of my head, which is the Redecision School. Correct. And yeah. and there's there's more of them. So the first thing the book really does is is explore the different schools and and the last great leap i think was the relational school wasn't it in 2008 correct so correct. so what are the what are the uh, different schools there bob i'm sure that i'm, okay. I'm fascinated to know about this because uh, because because like everybody else i i, I assume there's only one um but uh, okay. yeah share with us bob so if somebody comes up to you and says i'm a ta therapist i want you to say back to him what style of TA therapist uh, you are. Uh -huh, yeah. So I'll tell you what denotes a TA therapist, first of all. It's a person that thinks ego states, thinks transaction analysis proper, that's the analyzing of transactions and communications, thinks about games, which is repetitive sequence of patterns, and thinks about script, which is the unconscious life plan. Now, if that person thinks those four things, you could call them a TA therapist. Right. Those, those are the major hallmarks of transaction analysis psychotherapy, how Byrne originated it in 1961. Now, after that, when he died in 1970, different, different approaches started to develop. Now, they all have the same hallmark, I've just explained. Think about ego states, scripts, games. Yeah, just said. However, the style of TA and the focus of transaction analysis in terms of methodology differed. So quite rightly, in, the, in 1971, you had the redecision school, which uh, came about uh, around the 70s. You have the Schiffian school, which is the parenting school, if you like, concentration on the parent ego state. Uh, you have the integrative school, which is more like the Erskian integrated focus which came along and of course you still had the classical schools you had four so uh, so what this book does very neatly is does an overview of these different uh, approaches or schools if you like of transaction analysis which still carry the hallmark of that theoretical standpoint i talked about but the style is different so why is why is it important or do you think it's important that students of ta know the different schools is, is it important that anybody training 
to be a TA therapist as an understanding of the different approaches within within TA? Yeah, yeah. certainly for example, for example purposes, definitely. You're able to chart the evolution of transactionalities within uh, different schools and approaches from 1991 to where we are today. So if you're going to an exam to become a clinical practitioner, you may be asked questions like that. So from that point of view, trainees studying TA need to know the evolution, the different approaches, the different focuses and the different emphasis. So that's very important. In terms of a layman knowing, it's, it's, in, it's interesting. It's interesting in the history of a modern psychotherapy and the evolution it goes through. And it's also interesting different focuses that the different approaches put on it. So Eric Byrne, for example, will concentrate on strength in the adult ego state. Redecision psychotherapy, as you mentioned earlier on, would concentrate on um, that the change, the decisions, is understanding the child ego state. Integrated approach would look at uh, its focus on integration and the integration of the whole. Um, so you've got different, you've got different focuses. That's interesting in itself. But I think most interesting for the layman would be looking at the history and how transactionalysis has developed from, as I said, from 1961 to 1992, when that book is written. So it sounds to me like any student who's a serious um, pupil or, or student of TA would, mm -hmm. would benefit from reading this book. And we'll just put the book up now and, and the details. Yeah. And also we'll, we'll put a link in, in the bar below on YouTube. Yeah. And you can click on that, and then you can go on. You, you can go wow. and buy it. So there it is. We take take that picture down now. And um, so it you you sounds to me like there's there's two reasons that people may buy this book. One is those people are yeah. really interested in being students of TA, yeah. and and boning up for exams, and also the layperson who may just be interested in psychological interventions or or the history of psychotherapy, mm -hmm. and that gives mm -hmm. a deeper understanding. Of, of what can appear on the surface to be a single theory, a unified Correct. So theory. So there's a third one I'd like to mention that this book is very good at. Um, it has a, quite an extended chapter on the advantages and disadvantages of transactional analysis psychotherapy. Now, many books that people read concentrate on the advantages of this wonderful psychotherapy model. In this book, very accessible, talks about the rebuttals and the criticisms of TA. Now, that's a very important because if you're going to study transaction analysis as a trainee, you need to know uh, a, a critical sense mm. of some of the uh, rebuttals of transaction analysis yes. over the last 30 or 40 years. And, and that's really important. And it writes this in a very accessible style. This isn't a deep textbook. This is a hundred pages and very accessible. So easy to access. It covers everything um, around the, around any exams that maybe maybe so yeah, maybe maybe up for that. And and also most modern curriculums have have built into them a critique. You've got to criticise um, oh, right. your own own modality, haven't you nowadays? And say yeah. where it will work and where it might not. So it looks like yeah. it's the it looks like it's the complete package, Bob. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. In terms of, I, I, I studied that book when I went for my clinical exams. The two or three weeks before I went to my clinical exams, where I would be asked live about rebuttals, uh, you know, criticisms and as well as advantages of modern TA, I studied that book. It's a wonderful, accessible mm -hmm. book. So easy to access, easy to understand, not written in yeah. very wordy academic language. No. Not at all. And, and useful for last minute revision for yeah. for your exams. Yeah. Which seems and in my case, it works. So, that's right. <laughs> so it works. Well, yeah, it, yeah. it sounds like a wonderful book. It's by Sage. It's by our friends at Sage, yeah. Yeah. Um, which is a, a serious uh, a book publisher. Anything else you'd like to say about the book? Any any other pearls of wisdom that's uh, lodged within no, its pages? I, Bob? I, like, <laughs> I like the front of it. It's got a very good picture of Eric Burn on it. So for people who don't know what Eric Byrne looked at, you know, so, yeah. you know, many people might not. It's got a lovely hand drawn, I don't know who drew it, picture of Eric Byrne in um, a study mode. So that's nice. I like that. And I think I really do believe it puts TA 
in context, as I've just said, uh, within 1991 to 1992, that in itself, because I'm a historical buff, yeah, is really nice. Yeah, so it's 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 good to have if you're a student. It's good to have if you if you're looking at the history of psychotherapy. It sounds like it's nice to own. I mean, there's something to oh, be wonderful. said about having a book that you pick up mm. and you feel real connected to. And um, and also, it's uh, it's one that you could just take with you before you sit for your exams, have a quick yeah. flick through, and uh, yeah. and do as what would be colloquially known, do a Bob Cook bone up before and uh, and yeah, pass that, your exams. That's right, we'll pass your exams. <laughs> and you get a good sense of who Eric Byrne was as well. Yes. Yeah, get a sense of get get the, the sense of the way of being of him, his who, who he was. Yeah, really, you would through this book. Yeah, so it's highly recommended. We'll put a link yeah. in the link below, and uh, you can go and click on and have a look. I always say on on these interviews that this isn't a paid advert. You have to for YouTube yeah. now, in case they in case they, they take you off the YouTube. But uh, this is just Bob sharing his passion for books. So Bob Cook, yeah. thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Roy. Bye-bye.